Hi, welcome to this uh, new video tutorial. Today we are going to handle uh, the downloading of uh, the recorded video. So in order to do that, uh, we'll first go to what we have done. So in the previous episode, we have something like this, where we requested access to the camera, attach the video, and then could start the recording. And as you can see here, recording started. And once we stop uh, the recording here, we had uh, a playback. Here is the live stream. And uh, below here is the playback. We can open it as you have seen. Now what we want to do is that once we stop this one, we can either download it automatically or we can add a button to download it. So in order to do that, uh, let's first stop uh, the stream stop everything refresh it and then go back to uh, our code and uh, here we have to do some modifications and uh, the first thing is that uh, we need to create a new method uh, that call uh, download recorded video download recorded video here is this new method here and then we will also need to get uh, uh, declare one uh, blob to store uh, our recorded uh, video so here and uh, so here we are going to declare recorded blob and then it will be of type blob and then so if you are new to blob type it's just uh, a type that's commonly used to store video so either in the database or in programming so yeah then equal null that one so here is our recorded blob here and what it will do is that it will store the downloaded blob for uh, for the download so all that one is done uh, we come down now and then we come down now and again what we are going to do next uh, is uh, we come here to our front end in the front end here we are going to add uh, one new button one new button downloads and then here we set one new button here and what this method will take here is you will take uh, uh, what was that again you will take a uh, download video so we are going to pass this uh, method here download video and then uh, here download recorded video here is the name or just download video and uh, here is disable uh, it will base on the if uh, the recorded recorded video is set recorded blob is not null recorded blob so so this one will only be enabled when the downloaded blob uh, is set right for now uh, it should be 
Okay, we have what is happening now. And uh, sixty seven. Seven. What do we have? What is the error? Okay. What did we write here? And uh, we go back here. Recorded blob. Here is that right? Okay, there was a yeah, typing mistake. Okay, download video is there, but you can see now it's disabled. And we hope that when it will be set, then it will be enabled. So, and then we can now implement our method here. We can now implement our download. So if this, uh, what was that? A recorded blob. So we will just take this, if it is set, if it is set, then what we do, uh, we create a link download link equal uh, document create elements then here we pass a then download link H reference is equal URL then create object URL and inside we are going to pass our recorded blob our recorded blob is passed there and then download link download here we are going to pass uh, the name, the name will be uh, recorded video slash uh, webm. Then download, click, and then now uh, we just console stuff like this. Like this uh, video downloaded successfully. Video downloaded successfully. So, and then the last thing now we need to pass the value to this uh, when we are handling the blob is here so here we check that a value is there so before creating the objects here we can pass that blob recorded blob we can pass our video uh, recorded video to it so yeah and then you are set to go. Then let's uh, refresh this one, start this, get the video access, camera access, and then start the recording. Start the recording, recording has started. And then if we stop now, 
the playback is there and if I click here you can see that bump here the video here is there if you refresh it this is that here and then if you bring it here so the download uh, is working then now uh, another options that we could do is here uh, we may try to uh, let's stop refresh everything and go back to the code instead of putting uh, pressing uh, the download button we may want this one to start automatically so in order to do that if you want our download uh, to start automatically we may think we can also add that one here so call our method here this download blah. Okay. so now and uh, once we stop then the download will be started automatically so we start that attach the video start the recording once we stop the recording you can see that the video uh, has been downloaded successfully so thank you i hope that is useful to you stay tuned for the next video bye